happy Memorial Day, everybody. Tim from Tim's Holy Sicoli is just checking in. Wanted to wish, wish everybody a happy Memorial Day weekend, safe one. Enjoy your time off and your family. Uh, I hope all your, uh, your, if you're following along and growing coleus along with me, I hope your plants are doing well. Again, any questions or uh, uh, any advice you need, any comments, questions, just shoot me a, a message here or again on Instagram. Just want to check in real quick, give you a real rundown on my plants, what I'm doing now, the next step, and you can use this as a guide if you're growing uh, coleus along with me and others. So let's go take a real quick look. It's going to be a real short video, just checking in. Want to keep, uh, keep informed with you guys and uh, gals. Uh, really enjoying this year. Got a lot of beautiful, beautiful coleus. I'm, I'm really thrilled uh, every day I come in here. Um, I, I'm more and more uh, surprised at the beautiful, beautiful colors we have this year. All right, so we're, um, I'm starting to really, uh, I'm taking it day to day. Uh, I can't do everything at once when, when it's just me. Um, it could be a daunting task to take care of so many plants at once. So I do a little every day. Um, I do have a, a full-time job that I have to, uh, to report to, so uh, I try to juggle that with the, with the coleus and terrainias here, but, um, geez, I don't know where really want to, where to start. Um, uh, well, at this point, uh, I got some potted. I have a lot more to pot. I have plenty of pots down here. Again, to get these at uh, Dollar General, Dollar Stores, any kind of pot, that's up to you. Uh, I like to put some of these larger ones on the floor. They do really well. They get a lot of indirect light. And I find that these, these larger ones do just, they really start to explode. Uh, I have a few down in the below. And you can see... They're really starting to take off, and and really they do they do even well. Um, they do even better once they get into larger pots. Now, what, not all of these are going to go into pots, but the majority of them will. And then the rest of them, I'll just bring in trays, um, and I'll I'll offer them for sale for people who just want to plant their own coleus into the ground. And uh, I have another month until my farmer's market. Again, it's uh, Bayhead Farmer's Market, Bayhead, New Jersey, uh, starting June 23rd. If you're in the New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania area, uh, that's every Thursday, Bayhead, New Jersey, Bridge Avenue. It's a, a quaint little seaside town. We have a farmer's market. It's myself and two other local farmers, and I'll have these beautiful coleus up for sale as they do every year. And a portion of the proceeds go on a rotational basis between um, charities of, of my choosing. USO, Wounded Warriors, uh, Paralyzed Veterans, and also Morris Animal Foundation, um, and the Adelaide Koala Rescue in Australia. Uh, and he has a Saturn, um, Saturn rings. These are live plugs I got from Rosie Dawn. Uh, those I'm not selling. Those are really... For myself and here's the other you see they're really doing well the defiance there's a saturn rings and a saturn okay so you may be asking yourself what's the difference between a saturn and a saturn rings these are saturn rings and you can see the saturn rings have more much more green and a, less of the burgundy along the outer edge. And Saturns um, have more of the burgundy. You may have some here that have a larger area, but Saturns for the most part have um, less green in the center and more of the burgundy. So just uh, just a quick note, just uh, when you, and you can get these at Rosie Dawn Gardens. As again, it's Saturn rings, and this is a Saturn. So at this point, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that they're watered. Uh, got plenty of drainage here and trimmed. Um, Plenty of trimming to go because that's what's going to promote your bottom growth. So always 
decide how high your coleus, uh, how high you want it to be, and then start trimming. And that trimming, as painful as it is, and it's very necessary, and it will promote that bottom graft growth. It really does make a difference. So you start trimming, it really stimulates the growth. So believe me, trust me, do it, and the rewards will be in no time. You'll 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 come in here one you'll come in one day wherever you keep your plants and be amazed at how beautifully they are from trimming. And of course the fertilizer, um, very soon I'm going to switch over to the miracle Grow water-soluble uh, general-purpose plant food. I like that because it's a liquid and it really gets into the plant and I get really great, really good results from it. So at this point, just uh, keep them well-watered, lots of light doesn't have to be direct sun they don't like direct sun not especially young like this um, I moved the pots around you can see if over here I used to have the hanging bass those little high hanging pots see I move them around I give them a little light I trim this one you can see some undergrowth coming in so even these little guys I trim anything trim start trimming and I move them around give them different aspects of light they don't necessarily want direct beating down sun uh, back here I have the shade cloth on the roof of the uh, or surrounding the, the greenhouse um, but trim keep them trimmed and it will pay off perfect example here we go I got all that undergrowth coming in I just trimmed a few of these beautiful petals and the, <laughs> these beautiful this foliage it was so hard but I know based on my experience that it's gonna pay off and this is gonna be a beautiful beautiful plant Someone's going to be very, very happy with that. Here's another one. It's a little more tender. These little Kongs, these little, these are watermelon rose Kongs. They don't like direct sun. They, especially these little tender ones. So I have them in the back, sort of sheltered. Um, and they do much better. They don't like direct sun, so I kind of shelter them. And that's how, what I do th through the season. I kind of get to know, I get to know, I could see how some plants react. And I, and I know from experience that some of these don't do as well in direct sun, so I'll kind of shelter them. Other ones, more hardy, like these empires, they're pretty hardy. They do well. Uh, but I, you know, I, and not everything in here could be in direct sun. So I pick and choose the larger plants I have up top. But again, I go through all of these every day, and I do a little bit of trimming. Make sure they're watered. They don't have to be saturated. Just make sure your pots are well-drained. Uh, don't have any insect problems if you do have insect problems um, there are certain insects I suggest using getting some of this you can get it on Amazon most doesn't have to be his brand but it's insect killing soap this is all natural but be careful if you're going to use this inside uh, like a greenhouse setting or a closed area it's very pungent so you don't want to breathe this in um, it's not toxic it's just very pungent but it really works it keeps insects from um, finding a nice home on the bottom of your leaves and what it, how it works is it actually eats away at the shell a lot of these insects have exoskeletals the little shells and it eats away at the shell and that's how it kills them so save for insect soap get yourself some of this and that way you can control insects if you see them use it sparingly especially on young plants because it's a little it can be harsh even though it's natural it can be harsh so, and I'll move these around actually. I turn them around as you can see they're facing, they're always going to face towards the sunlight. And of course, this is a fixed greenhouse, so the sun is always going to be raising from, rising from the east, setting in the west. So they're going to be facing towards the camera. So I actually move them. And as time progresses, I move them out at least once a week onto, or, or twice if I have time onto my out onto my awning my table I get them everything outside and that's when I create my pots and then I'll start moving them around so these these may be over here next time so I try to move things around keep some healthy happy um, trimming feeding at least every 10 to 14 days and uh, you'll you'll be happy and get them into pots whatever pots you choose 
you'll get the best results or in the ground directly uh, you plant them in directly in the ground where I'm here in New Jersey we're well past our frost date we're well on our way into summer uh, the weather has been beautiful we got some misty rain the past couple of days this weekend it's supposed to be more rain so this is ideal conditions I don't have the fan set up right now because it's not terribly hot um, and we're going to be getting some thunderstorms later so I don't have the fan running um, but I have a good we got good ventilation in here okay, here's the wishbone terrain as you can see they're coming in I don't really have a good light in here I'm sorry I apologize uh, there's some flowers they're just going to start to open up soon so we're excited about that so stay tuned for these these things should be opening up very shortly these wishbone terrainias i'm going to use bloom booster miracle grow bloom booster do not use bloom booster on your coleus promotes the flower you don't really need um a lot of that for coleus so i don't use bloom booster for the coleus until the end of the season uh towards the end of the season when i want to promote seed stalk growth then i'll switch over to the bloom booster but as a for the coleus general purpose miracle grow or equivalent water soluble or equivalent uh plant food and again for flowers bloom booster there we go there's a good shot the sun just kind of ducked into some clouds so you can see a lot of petals a lot of flowers coming in ready to open up i expect in another day or two so stay tuned we'll shoot out a video as soon as those start to show themselves beautiful saturn rings there's more wishbone terrainias And I still have to decide what I'm going to do with these. These are really for me. I get the, again, these are the rootings, the, the plugs, the live plugs from Rosy Dawn. I potted some, but these I'm going to be putting into a larger planter for my property. Because I love Defiance and Saturns. And of course, I want to get some seeds for myself. There's the jitters. So we got really good, everything's really go, moving along right nicely here. I'm really, really excited. I'm very very happy with the, with the color and I expect in another month when we start our farmers market that we're gonna have some really beautiful beautiful coleus to sell a lot of happy people jitters and I got some some greens I keep on the bottom but I have a really I have a very very few greens this year I don't have a lot which is good a lot of colossal marbles so it's a lot of work, trimming, but my main priority right now, because I have to work this weekend, is making sure that these are all well watered. And there's some fishnets. Another fishnet. All right, so it's a, uh, it's a little under, it's about 90 degrees in here. It's a nice little, nice little vacation spot. Um, so we're uh, enjoying this just for an hour or so. We're finishing up. Um, any questions or comments, uh, please leave a message. Subscribe to Jim's Holius Acolius. Follow along as the season progresses because it's, it's really going to get exciting when we get these out. Next week, uh, I'll be getting all of the, again, as I mentioned, I'll set these up on the table, do some more potting, I'll shoot at another video, a little more detail outside, gives a little better perspective on the camera. Uh, a little more color you could get a better uh, you know get a better perspective of the beautiful beautiful coleus here so all right so everybody have a great memorial day weekend take care everybody stay safe and we'll see you next week take care everyone thanks for watching jim's holiest coleus